We are standing in the newly reconstituted Columbus Museum of Art where lots of things are different and lots of things are new. How did you make this happen? And we had great donors, we have a great staff, we have a great volunteer corps, and everybody pitched in to transform the museum. It took just a little over a year. Uh, we closed our historic building and lived out of our 1970s building uh, beginning last October. And then on New Year's Day, 1, 1, 1, 1. 1111. We will have, uh, we'll cut the ribbon on the front of the museum and it'll be open to everybody. And it's quite a change. This room we're standing in is a little different. Tell me about where we are right now. Actually, we are standing where the old museum cafe, the Palette, was. And we have taken the ground floor of our historic building, which is now the Elizabeth M. and Richard M. Ross building, and we have transformed it into the Center for Creativity. And we're standing in the Wonder Room, which is sort of the heart of the Center for Creativity, and it's the interactive family space. So we've made this space look more welcoming to many generations. So it's, it's keyed for families, but families of all all diversity at all dimensions. We have a new studio space, we have a media lab, it'll be really important for our high school and, and college program. We've got a new ready room for schools, and for those of you who have persevered many years in our auditorium, we have an auditorium with a good sound system, knee room, and few obstructed views. It's a fantastic new space. It's the auditorium you always loved, but no, the, the auditorium you always hated made into the auditorium you're gonna love. Tell me about Derby Court. The center of the social life at the Columbus Museum of Art has always been Derby Court. Uh, for 20 some years it was an outdoor court and in the 50s they covered it over and so now in 2010 we've renovated again we've raised the floor we've made it completely accessible from the corridors around it uh, we've worked on those acoustics which people always complained about and we have put a beautiful glass canopy over it I think you will like it I'm hoping you will all-weather derby court and tell me a little bit about the collections upstairs they've been reorganized a little bit there are themes up there the, the first thing you're going to notice is everything looks better you're going to say why does the art look so much better the lights all new lights really great uh, and we've also put great lights in the in the halls for the first time in the corridors so that we can really use the corridors effectively to hang art but when you get into the galleries it is indeed and the, the collection that you always loved in a new way I want everybody to come down. If you're a member, you should start thinking about coming down right after Christmas. The Tuesday through Friday, if you're a member, you get a sneak preview. All you gotta do is bring your card in, and if you've lost your card, give us your name and we'll look you up on the computer. And if you're not a member, this would be a wonderful week, at, week to join. Uh, you can join right there at the desk and get in. Then, on January 1st, at 10 o'clock in the morning, we're gonna cut the ribbon on the Broad Street entrance, and then we'll have a whole day of activities for everyone, so come on down. Uh, fewer football games on January 1 and I understand that the big one isn't going to be till 6 o'clock at night so you got the whole afternoon you need to be doing something so come on down.